Well, when you have things you want us to look into, we really do listen. And for the last few days, we have been flooded literally with questions from viewers about a Western New York pet store and dozens of messages, posts, tweets about the rent a chick program. It's Steve's wonderful world of pets. People have said about the store offering to rent the baby chickens to families. So our Dave McKinley took those concerns to the store to get some answers. Some folks are crying foul over an annual springtime promotion at Steve's Wonderful World of Pets on Sheraton Drive. This Facebook post advertises rent a chick and depicts baby chickens, which appear to be dyed various colors, prompting some to call the idea animal cruelty for profit. It's all based on innuendo and, and wrong information. The chicks are not, in fact, dyed, despite the picture used by store owner Steve Lane, who's been in the pet business for 32 years. Well, uh, that's a picture. It's a cute picture, um, but we don't do dyed chickens. They are, it's illegal to display chickens in artificial colors, baby chicks in New York State. Steve tried to answer comments on Facebook, even provided his phone number, and the phone here has been busy. However, the problem is when people are screaming on Facebook, it's hard to respond in a rational manner. I invite them to come see us, and every now and then people do. The phone is ringing right now. Absolutely. Rent a chick basically works like this. It's $39 for to rent two chickens and all the supplies. They get medicated food, they get the heat lamp, they get bedding, they get a container, they get a special water container because baby chickens can't use an open dish. Uh, everything they need and, and so we know they're being well cared for. Plus a $10 deposit which they get back when they return the chickens. Then what happens? Well, we have a couple friends that live out in the country that have chickens so we give them to them. You are telling me you ensure that they go to an appropriate place. Absolutely. We're only going to give them to somebody who knows how to deal with chickens. But even there, someone posts their indignation that many who would know how to deal with chickens raise them to be consumed, wondering if children will be told that and claiming this represents the objectification of animals. Lane notes chickens generally are not considered pets. These are animals that started in the food industry and they've come out, they get a couple weeks of fun with some kids and then they go back to the food industry. We took steps to review the most recent State Department of Agriculture and Markets inspection of this store. Every category in the report was marked satisfactory. Now, Lane insists there is nothing illegal about what he's doing. We checked with Ag and Markets about that. They tell us they will look into it just to make sure. The SP SPCA, though, rather takes a rather dim view of this whole thing, and it will weigh in on this controversy coming up in our report tonight at 6. Till then, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.